the fastest way to get amazing STXL images. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I want to show you STXL Lightning which can render STXL images in only two steps. Now there's a very basic workflow included to make it work today, but my Patreon supporters get a fleshed out workflow that has control net, IPA face detailer, upscaler, the whole shebang and a video that explains all that stuff. I will give you that tomorrow because today I'm a little bit short in time. Let's get started with this video. So here we have the Hugging Face page where you can see what I'm talking about. And this even goes down to just one step, but that doesn't work yet. So we're starting with two steps, four steps, eight steps. There's a lot of text here. You don't really need to read through that. First of all, of course, how do you use that? Well, of course, here you can download the workflow. Now, when you click on that, you get this kind of file here. And next, what you need to do here is to click on raw. So you get this kind of very basic file here and then you right click and you say save as and then you save it as this file here with the JSON anywhere you want on your hard drive and you can open that in ConfUI. Next, what we also need is the LoRa files. For that, you want to go to the top of the SDXL Lightning page. Here you have files and versions. Click on that. And here you have the list. And the good thing about the lore is also they're very small. So you can see here 394 megabytes for each of them. You can download the two step one, the four step one, the eight step one. You can try around with them anything you want. I found that the four step one works pretty well. And also four step gives you a little bit better quality. And you just download that into your LoRa folder. For me, that means that I'm downloading it into my automatic 1111 folder, into the web UI folder, into the models folder, and there into the LoRa folder. Now, because this is a PTH file, it's not going to be visible to automatic 1111 because you can see here the other files are either safe tensor file or they are checkpoint files, not PTH files. So automatic 11.11 can't even see that, but ConfUI can see that as a LoRa file. And this is what we need here, but because the future will probably also bring this to automatic 11.11, I put it into the LoRa folder into automatic 11.11. So let's go over to ConfUI. This is the workflow you have seen a second ago in the image. I added here an ultimate upscaler so that I will upload that for you onto my Patreon. This is the upscaling you can do and also the trick I want to show you today because it's absolutely mind blowing that this works with ultimate upscale. So here, as you can see, for my checkpoint, I have Chuggernaut XL version eight, not the, the newest version There's version nine out already, but that doesn't matter because it still works. And down here you can see this goes from the checkpoint into the LoRa model loader. And you can see here that I'm using the two step LoRa in this case, you can of course also switch over to the four step LoRa and leave the strength at one. You can put here your positive prompt, your negative prompt, and of course down here your latent image. Now this at the moment works best with 1024 by 1024. So I would leave it at that size for the moment. Then we go here into the K sampler and here we have another important part that doesn't really work in automatic 1111 at the moment because we are using for the sampler Euler that's still working automatic 1111, but the scheduler is SGM uniform and that is pretty important for that format. So basically leave the settings here as they are, but change the step settings if you want to for two, four or eight steps. Then, of course, you have here your VAE decoder. And if you want to, you can finish like that and you can create an image like this. As you can see, it doesn't have too much detail in there. It's not super sharp or crisp. So this is because of the very low step count and because also of the very low CFG count, but it creates an image very, very fast. And that is good. Now, the thing here is at the moment, this works best for images where the face or the subject is big in the image and then you get these beautiful details in here 
and I think this will also become better in the future with refined models that are more specialized for this process. But in the meantime, you can still get amazing results when you upscale the image. And the best way to upscale it without changing the content of the image too much is by using Ultimate SD Upscale or another similar upscaling method. So this is what I'm using here. As you can see here for the upscaler model, I'm using the 4X NMKD Superscale SP178000. And now here comes the surprising part. In the Ultimate SD Upscaler, you can also use the same settings. That means only four steps, CFG scale at one, Euler sampler and then the schedule for SGM uniform because this uses the same LoRa and model for the upscaling. You can see here I have set this to a two times upscale and this is the image result we get from that which is amazing because this is a nicely detailed 2048 by 2048 SDXL image that renders on my 3080 Ti in 20 seconds flat. That is mind blowing. So play around with the LoRa today. It is amazing and super fun. And tomorrow I'm going to upload the fleshed out workflow for my Patreon supporters. Thank you very much. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.